ball off the wall, he's got a lead change. Goes back halfway down the field, and most of the field is stuck. As Marbula One rolls along, most of our field will find some solace in the familiarity of the old raceway where we return for the second time in two years. Your first time competitor though, oh, welcome to the new normal. Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. Special shout out to our sponsor Cosmocrats, a zero gravity dystopian comedy adventure game now available on PC. Combining physics-based gameplay with a dark comedy story where your decisions matter, you can check out Cosmocrats on Steam. Check out the link below this video. The old raceway, 10 turns with a sand section right in the middle, a tunnel, and some very tricky and different sectors thrown at you. We also have some different runners compared to what we did in the first race of the season. As we get ready for the start of qualifying. First one up, Cerulean from the Cobalt. It's going to be followed closely by Honey from the Bumblebees. Neither of those two took part in this race last year with some different camera angles. You can appreciate that entry onto the sand section. There were a couple of bumps right in the middle last year where you had to choose sides. Those are gone. You'll notice a few other updates to the track as well. First time coming across and it is much quicker than what we were last season. These marbles are much better suited from where they were a year ago. 30.05 was the pole time for Waspy in that first season, and we're already at a 23.12. You notice the splits in that first sector, there were two last season, are gone. The racers, not big fans of those, and they felt that it did more of a detriment to the racing than it did a benefit. Also, that penultimate corner coming out from under the sand tunnel, that's also been reprofiled ever so slightly. First sector remains pretty similar, though. As Rima goes into second. Now we've got Ocean and Ruzzy. How about Minty Fresh, by the way? 1.86 off the pace. Lost a lot of time there. Ruzzy provisionally quicker through the first sector and stays green through the second. Ocean is dropping time. Around the final turn. Oh, and Ruzzy lost it all. You could see visibly Ocean was catching up. You wonder what happened in the third sector. And it all came undone. Skip and Pulsar now for the Jungle Jumpers and Team Galactic respectively. Chasing Cerulean. And this first sector winds away from you fairly quickly. Neither one is improving though, although Pulsar is just three hundredths of a second off. Skip has been very slow. You can see how close Pulsar is. Maybe getting a draft down the front stretch around that final turn. And Pulsar moves into second place. This track notorious in that final turn and the conveyor belt last year. Of course, Waspy fell off the belt. Remember that during the race was stopped at the exit of the pit lane. Well, after that, the Marble Committee actually changed the angle a little bit of the takeoff for that elevator. And we've not seen similar incidents and quite the same drama. Oh, and Bolt is going to pass and get by. And will this also turn into pole? No, Bolt lost it. We'll slot into third place. But Lemon Lime gave a beneficial draft and then I think must have gotten a little bit too much in the way. Mimo and Tumult out on the track now. By the way, the Limers finished fourth in this race last year. And Tumult is in the green after going purple in the first sector. Needs a good finish and lost it. The time fell away. Tumult will slot into third provisionally. Now remember, the bottom four are eliminated here in Q1. So you see the two beat over there on the left scoring pylon. Make sure you don't end up in the bottom four, even though we still have quite a few marbles left to run. That dubious distinction went to Clutter, Azure, Hop, and Minty Drizzle who did not move on. On this one, Snowstorm goes P1. 
Yellup can only manage 10th, but a lot of eyes on the snowballs. 22-6-6 is nearly half a second clear of the entire field. Well, no Q1 doesn't set pole, but surely you wouldn't want to miss this for a water park. Billy and Wispy out now. Billy was a great starter in the race one season ago. On lap three, passed for the lead and held on to win the race. It was the only lead change of the entire Grand Prix. Billy was doing fairly well in the first sector, dropped it in the second. And look at this, Wispy in the meantime goes P1, Billy P2. The two of them were pacing each other nicely. And that knocked Snowstorm out of the lead. Orangin and Red Eye out on track now. You can hear the O's getting a little bit more intense. The home crowd willing Orangin on, who is purple in the first sector, green in the second. Can Orangin recover around the final turn? No, only ninth. And that means the O-Rangers will not move out of Q1. And Red Eye goes seventh. Hazy and Rapidly, our final two runners, guaranteeing that Ruzzy and Lemon Lime will not advance. Neither one is particularly close to pole. Hazy was a tenth off in the first sector, now nearly four tenths in the second. And neither one of these is going to make a challenge. So that will mean our bottom four eliminated are Minty Fresh, Ruzzy, Hazy, and Lemon Lime. The Minty Maniacs not getting out of Q1 and not getting a starting spot for the second week in a row. The Hazers finished third in this race last year, and they didn't qualify this year. Cosmocrats, leaving Earth on November 5th. So we lose our first four, and positions 9th through 16th are set. Those marbles will go no further. But for Q2, we have a race among the top eight. Top four advance. Off we go in Q2, and it's Billy who has another phenomenal start at the O-Raceway, moving up into first place over Wispy, who gets swarmed by Pulsar. Now everybody bunched right up there as they enter the sand for the first time. Keep it off the walls, and your speed will increase. Billy stretching it just like was done in the race last year. Wispy into second place, holding off a nice challenge from Pulsar, Red Eye and Cerulean in front of Snowstorm, Tumult, and Bolt. Heading into the final lap, this is a quick two-lap shootout, but it's all gone away from Billy coming off the belt. Wispy's right there, three lengths back, through the first sector. They dive down and wind onto the sand. This is where Billy was strong last year. And they look pretty similar this time. Red Eye is also closing up through these final couple of turns. Billy is going to be challenged. Red Eye to the inside. Billy with the block. Red Eye gets by and will advance. It's not pole, but that's great momentum. Snowstorm is the first one eliminated and will not move on. Look at this final blast down the front stretch. Billy in the lead, Red Eye moves up, looks to the inside, Billy moves to block. Red Eye stays to the inside after Billy, I think, thought that they were gonna go around the outside. That was a great Q2. By the way, check out our new Marbula One merchandise at Teespring featuring face masks. You can find the link in the video description, but we are ready for the pole shootout. Red Eye sits in front. Lights out, and another good start for Billy on the inside. Can Billy turn that into a pole position in this two-lap shootout here in Q3? Red Eye, little peek over the shoulder to Wispy, then Pulsar back in fourth, well behind. Billy trying to keep it clean. These turns right through here coming under the sand can really make a difference on your speed down the front stretch as we see with Red Eye making a mistake and Wispy is gonna be side by side with Billy coming up the ramp. Off they go, Wispy into the lead. Billy, long lap to try to get it back though. Pulsar has moved up into third place. Red Eye losing all the pace. You wonder if that last gasp effort took too much energy out. Wispy into sector number three. The checkered flag and pole position awaits. Billy can pull the draft coming down there is not gonna be enough. Wispy on pole. The Green Ducks will start alongside, then it will be Pulsar and Red Eye. The crazy cat's eyes. If this is a preview of what tomorrow's race is going to be, sign me up. Well, I have to be here anyway, but you should be here too. Do not miss this for race number two at the O Raceway. 
22.495 for Wispy in Q1. Well ahead of last year's time, but it's the races in Q2 and Q3 that matter. Of course, for all the points, in addition to the point that gained for pole position, well, that comes tomorrow. And we hope to see you here. Please subscribe. Stay tuned for more.